Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back again. Uh, it is again continuity of the the moving least square approximation. So again we are on the MLS moving approximation. So what we had again, let us consider we had a linear so using first order. In the, in the next, next lecture, I will show you numerically how good are they and how accurate uh, we are approximating, we are interpolating uh, the function. So today, it, it will be the last lecture of the explaining the theory and tomorrow I will, uh, tomorrow means the uh, next uh, lecture, I will give you the numerical approximation or some numerical coding idea. So we had our f of x i j is f of was f of x o plus x i j minus f of minus x o plus e of x i j j is one to m. This was uh, our first order approximation assumption. Assume f of x o approximate of f of x min then what we get so we subtract so this is a little repetition of uh, earlier on both sides So what do we get f of x i j minus f of x min is equal to f of x o minus f of x min plus x i j minus x o f of x. So it should be here f of x plus e of x i j as j runs from 1 to m. So notation, I assume this as uh, b j, this as uh, a1, this as uh, d x j, this as uh, a2, this as e j so that was our notation so this implies b j is equal to a1 plus d x j into a1 plus e j so now for example if our function is not differentiable yeah, if we have very oscillation, very discontin in discontinuity, then we cannot take any more derivative. So, because if there is a jump in the function or the function is uh, 
going up and down. So the derivative gives you the wrong derivative or it may be infinite, then you cannot get any more approximation. So in that case, what we do that suppose f is not c1. So then we cannot take any derivative. So what you do that, then we avoid this part. Yeah. So then consider only without derivative bj is equal to a1 plus ej. So this implies ej is equal to bj minus a1, j is equal to 1 to m. This is our now is a 14.1, they say, and this is suppose 14.2, this is our equation. Okay? Now again, our unknown is 1, but we have m equation. So again, minimize f of a1 is equal to summation of wj, j is equal to 1 to m ej square is equal to summation of wj ej square is bj minus a1 square. Okay? So we should have del f by or df by a1 by del a1 should be. So derivative with respect to unknown should be 0. So here maybe again it is same, but now I let me write little bit in other way. So then, so now f of a is some wj ej square. So here what we can write, this we can write in the vector form, this 12.2. So it is e transpose times w times e. w is our again, the diagonal matrix, yeah, and this is equal to E transpose is suppose. So now I have my unit vector here. So E transpose is uh, Bj B minus. So I have identity vector here, A, yeah. E B minus I A transpose W B minus I F A. Yeah. So we had already written in our earlier case that so if we write that del f by del a is equal to 0, we get implicitly a is equal to m transpose w m inverse m transpose w of b. So that was our solution. So here our m, m is now identity matrix. So I can write that, so f of a, just let us play a little bit. So if I take in other way that I of a minus b transpose w i of a minus b, 
then del fy del a is so it is the the transpose of identity matrix is tra identity matrix therefore del a by del a transpose is a so here i get identity matrix times this is 0 times w times identity matrix minus a minus b plus derivative of this with respect to w is 0 and then i will have now i a minus b transpose times w times so derivative so of identity matrix is uh, is coming out so derivative of a with respect to A is 1, so then I get here the identity matrix. Yeah, so this is W times A minus, so W times I of A minus B plus here what I get that I A minus B transpose times W. So let us claim. So we had already used that identity in our previous lecture. I A minus B transpose times W is the same as I A minus B transpose W of transpose. Since it is a row matrix. Therefore, we can have this. So let us prove or let us check that. Okay. So we claim that I minus A minus B transpose is equal to, since it is a row matrix, this is equal to this. So let us check, let us multiply. Yeah. So here, this part, I do this. So LHS is uh, I A minus B transpose times w is a minus b1 so a1 minus a minus b1 up to a minus bm times w1 wm then we can write this as a summation of the matrix times this will be wj a minus bj and in other part rhs is i a minus b transpose w of transpose so you apply the transpose rule so the the identity the diagonal of the transpose is diagonal nothing changes the transpose of this matrix is again transpose. So this is here I A minus B. So this is this vector here. Then we get W times A minus B1 up to A minus Bm. So then we get summation of Wj A minus Vj. So these are exactly same. So it means if this is, is equal to this part, then I can write from this equation, what can I write that, so this part del Fy del A is equal to W I A minus B and this is again is equal to exactly what we have W i a minus b plus w times i a minus b so if it is del f y del a is equal to 0 implies it is true so w i a minus b is equal to 0 so this implies our a w times a is equal to w of v so a is equal to so here we have the summation of wj 
a is equal to summation of wj of bj if we multiply so this implies our a is equal to summation of wj bj divided by summation of wj so this is our unknown yeah so unknown means so our a is equal to f x o minus f of x mean since so this implies so a we put it here f of x o minus f of x mean is equal to summation of w j b j by summation of w j so this implies that let us here f of x o is equal to f of x min plus summation of w j so b j we have defined also f of x i j minus uh, let me write it with in the sort so this implies f of x o is equal to f of x min plus summation of 1 to m w j b j is nothing else f of x i j minus f of x min divided by summation of w j j is equal to 1 to m so this is our zeroth order interpolation rule so it is called sefard interpolation sefards interpolation so what does mean our interpolated value is so the closest value plus the weighted average yeah you just take the difference between the neighbors and the minimum value and you do the weighted average here yeah so nothing else so it means what it does that if we have such a oscillating solution here if our function is something like that then we may get somehow smooth solution we smooth out the oscillation so this is zeroth order sometimes if your data is very rough and then you may have to do the smooth maybe one time two time three times so that all the oscillation are going out yeah so this is uh, say for interpolation the zeroth order we will see in the next lecture how accurate is it compared to the other and now in the final i just derive the second order interpolation and then we stop uh, the interpolation idea and then we go further to other topics so now second order now i do not do all the repetition i just do very short so that we can easily do quickly once we know all the formula we know the minimization process we don't go into detail so taylor's expansion again up to second order f of x i j is equal to f of x o plus x i j minus x o f x plus half x i j minus x o f x x plus e of x i j 
j is equal to 1 to m. So I don't remember the name of the, the, the equation, number of equation. Let me write it as a star. So again, assumption. f of x o approximate f of f x mean and then we subtract f of x mean on both sides f of x i j minus f of x mean is equal to f of x o minus f of x mean plus x i j minus x o f x plus x half x i j minus x o square f x x plus e of x i j. Now I do not again use the notation here b j this a1 dx j this is a a1, a2 now, and this a3, and this is ej. So from here, what we get here? Our vj is equal to a1 plus dxj into a2 plus half dxj square into a3 plus e j, j is running from 1 to m. And now if you bring it to the left hand side, so our e j is equal to b j minus a1 dx j minus a1 minus dx j a2 minus half dx j square of a3. So if I write into the vector form, so now E is equal to, this is my vector V minus, so I write into the matrix form, dx1 up to dxm. So here half dx1 square up to half dxm square a1, a2. So now we can write into the matrix form. Now I denote. So we can write that in this form. E is equal to B minus MA. So M is our geometric matrix dx1 up to dxm. Half dx1 square up to half dxm square. So minimization minimization process del f by del a is with respect to a is a vector is equal to zero implies we get explicitly a is equal to m transpose w m inverse m transpose w of b and now we can calculate what is our m transpose wm because we know the m oh sorry our m which should be here i made a small mistake here so since we have three unknown not one a1 a2 a3 so here i should have the coefficient of a1 are one so b minus one up to one so here my work so here i made it small i forgot to write one up to one so this is our three by m matrix and now we get three unknown m equation we should have more than three uh, neighbors and then if we invert this matrix we get or if we multiply this we get 3 by 3 symmetric matrix so let us do quickly so our m transpose wm 
looks like our m transpose is 1 up to 1, dx1 up to dxm. So it is similar to all the case, dx1 is half dx m square. So here diagonal w1 up to wm, it doesn't change. And the m matrix is uh, dx1 up to dxm, oh sorry, 1, first one, row, 1 dx1 dxm of dx1 square of dxm square. So if you write, we get symmetric matrix, the first component we get sum of wj, second component we get this time this is wj dxj, and third component this time this, summation of wj dxj square by 2, and uh, the symmetric matrix, the second term we get this time this sum of wj dxj square, and the third one is half, so sum of wj dxj q divided by 3. So I don't write this, this it will come to here. So the last one is sum of the, this final one is the last diagonal matrix W, so 1 by 4 here, so 1 by 2 times 1 by 2, 1 by 4, Wj dxj to the power 3. So this second component is same as this, third component is same as this, and here this component is this, this is a symmetric matrix. So similarly, you can get M transpose times W times B, and once you know that, then you just equate the component of first component is equal to the, the first component of the right hand side matrix. So then here you get A is equal to suppose this is the right hand side is R, R1, the first component. Then we get F x of O is F of x min plus R1. So this is the second order interpolation, where R1 is the multiplication of this inverse matrix times this vector, the first, first row. So now here we stop our interpolation idea, and we go further, how do we approximate derivative? In fact, we already got the derivative because the A2 is the first order derivative, and A3 is the second order derivative. That we'll explore in the coming lecture. So thank you very much.